Okay. I'm Chamomile. And I'm Anon Ian Moss. And we have gotten our elements all set up. Although we are unable to get iron equipment, so everyone's still bronze. Alright, all right, so go to the boot. The boot. The brilliantly crafted boat. Yes. That inspires children. Two canoes nailed together with a plank. Yeah. You know, Sian just, I need the fastest boat you can give me. This'll do. Behold! Uh, oh, You right. can sail! I'm sailing! Over the northwest there, you can see the, uh, route out to the mainland, which will never be passable. <laughs> yeah, you Is got Earth going? Dragon Island there, don't go there, it'll kill you to pieces and there's nothing you can do there anyway. So where am I going? I mean, you can sail to Arnie Village if you want, I guess. Yeah, you got Water Dragon Island. Isle down there. That's kind of cool, I guess. But the main attraction here is up north. Glenn told you about... An... Pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay, I'm just, just see if I can go around that. Uh, you're going to have to go around. So Glenn told you about one of the Dragoon Davis who's retired from long ago. Is it here? Uh, nope, that is Ghost Island. It's uh, that one that's on fire. Oh, this one? Yeah. So that's probably fine, you know, that it's on fire. It's probably okay. Gosh dang it. This Nothing is... bad is happening at all. It's totally cool. Pollution. Of course, the boat gets a massive sail whenever we're actually... Oh my gosh, I am so tiny. Burned out Hermit's hideout. Hmm. Yep. Thanks for so, uh, adding in the description. I wouldn't have figured that out otherwise. Alright. This is fine. Something just Everything fine. is okay. No, this is evil twin brother Zoom in me. Oh my gosh, you are just responsible for all my problems, aren't you? Yeah, but don't worry, now you get to punch her in the face. Yay! With rad... radius? Radius. Ra radius, okay. Do you remember Radius? No. He's okay. the old guy from Arnie Village in your homeworld. Oh, wait, is he... Is he the guy who was worshipping Groot, or...? No. No, that was... That's an unnamed cultist. <laughs> Nah, he's the old guy, the one who gives you the tutorial that we didn't take, because... Oh! Yeah. So he was a dragoon all this time. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and I never even noticed. Well, I mean... He was a dragoon in Homeworld, but in Homeworld he apparently gave it up to go be mayor of the village. In another world, where you are now, uh, he gave it up to go be a hermit, I guess, okay. and get murdered by Harley. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about here, I wasn't looking at the text. Basically... <laughs> Uh, it's like, do you want to know why Lynx want, you know, wanted to blow this guy up? Nah, not really. Uh, and basically it's like, well, because Lynx wants to kill allies of the Acacia Dragoons, who are his allies? Um. Lynx is complicated. <laughs> it's like, the friend of my friend is apparently my enemy. Radius and Lynx are actually old rivals. They've been enemies for a while. So, uh... Yeah. I imagine this is about getting rid of Radius as a personal vendetta from Lynx because they're old enemies. Mm. But what Harley says here is basically, well, he's an ally of the Acacia Dragoons, and we can't have that. I assume that Lynx also plans on killing himself then? <laughs> Let's see, she's black and eight, right? Yes. So this should... Yeah. Normally, it'd be, I would recommend you uh, save up for the X-Strike, because that's awesome. But she... X-Strike is red and eight. Yeah, not so. nearly as effective against this kind of creature. All right, natural replay! Anaconda squeeze! 
Oh no. She's already sagging. Uh-oh. I'm more than a little disappointed. Really? That's, that's, that's the best you got? Let's just out the fire pillar. Sure, yeah. This might just end this now, but... Whoa, yes. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, he's not very powerful magically. Like, that's really weak magic right yeah. there. <laughs> okay. Let's see, do I have enough for, uh... Yeah, yeah sure, let's see what he can do without Surge to help him out. Yeah. There's... Oh, it's basically... Pretty soon, let's dash his move, yeah. But <laughs> it's just green. Y yes, you are. Thank you for noticing. So, yeah, that was, a. Uh... <laughs> that was a thing that just happened. It's about as impressive as the final battle at the end of the second Ninja Turtles movie. Oh, hey, I got another photon beam. Wait, no, 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 that's a photon beam, not a photon ray. That's level three. Give that a surge. Yes. Now I'm going to immediately disappear. I call all the times I... I mean, in fairness, she has the power to teleport. Oh. Why well, use that during the fight? Man. Yes. So apparently he wasn't even home when his house got blown up. <laughs> uh huh. I guess. went into hiding like thirty yeah, he, feet away from his house. Looks like he paid me a visit, except for I wasn't actually home, so it's not really a visit as much as. Also, Harley is like, yeah, I totally killed that guy. Did you just light the house on fire and assume he was inside? Like, huh. Well, this is a He's made dude. no attempt, to, no sign of motion, no attempt to escape at all. I'm sure we got him. I'm sure we got him. Harley's the good guy. I mean, she is fighting genocidal maniac Surge. This house isn't even that burned down. <laughs> what was she doing? Oh, this is a secret bunker. Oh. Yeah. This is at the root of the tree. Is there any good items we can get here? Ooh, what is this? I believe there's one item here, yes. Come on. I think that's I just a, a doodad, though. Okay. Like, I think there's a chest around here somewhere that you can... Uh, under the bed. Hmm. Nope, nothing here. It may I'll be talk to upstairs, the old man. but for now, yeah, talk to him. And no, I don't want to go through your stupid tutorial. I'm sure you did. Yawn's father. So, yeah. Uh-huh. Great. I'm so interested, man. So, he is one of the last generation of Dragoons. So you're going to try and use a healing thingy to overthrow a nation? Okay then. Basically philosophical okay, mumbo jumbo. What it comes down to is that poor is this mighty military empire. By the way, poor were a joke villain in Chrono Trigger. Oh yeah. So basically they are the Cerberus of Chrono Cross. Oh no. You know. In one game, there are these random, they're, they're side quest will. <laughs> joke villains, and in the next game, they're taking over the world. It's been ten and, years and since they were, ten years ago, they were joke villains. Now they're taking over the world. And they have already conquered the home kingdom of the main characters from Chrono Trigger. That happened off screen. This is Dragonlance levels of evil shall always triumph over good. Because, because good, good is, is dumb. dumb. Yeah. Oh my. Where am I? Oh. No, like, where, where was his house? It was. Oh, it was in right the tree there. up there, but yeah. 
Vegetation will be able to grow. Is that what happens when you're sitting on fire? Oh. Huh. Yes, thank you. I noticed. Yeah. Eventually, you can grow an onion man there who will join your party. But huh. It's okay, Groot. We're not going to replace you. Where am I going to now? Well, aren't we glad we did that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Now we have to go into the fog. See, Fort Dragonia is right there. Yep. Yes. So, in order to get there, we have to go through the big scary volcano land. And in order to do that, we have to go straight through that fog. There we go. So, now we're heading in. This is also where we're going to get loads and loads of iron, so... Oh, yay. Our pirates, I think. Remember this from the opening scroll, the opening demo video? Hmm. Not sure I do. Mainly I remember that it shows you encountering this with Glenn, Kid, and Surge, which again is impossible. Kid is al if you have Glenn, Kid is always incapacitated for this section, and if you have Kid, then that means yeah. you could not recruit Glenn in that playthrough. Well, yep. Basically, Kid and Glenn are always your party members, no matter how little sense it makes. And it makes very little sense for most of the shots, because they're mostly from the early game. So what, what are we talking about now, guys? Basically, we found a giant ship in here and decided to board it, because... lols. XP! It's like, hey, it's really hard to navigate in this fog. Let's board these guys' ship. I'm sure that's fine. I can't move. Oh. It might be. I don't have to answer that question. He tosses an amigo onto the end of his generic statement, yeah, that's so that we know that it's, uh, you know that's that's his personality. His personality is Mexican. Otherwise, he talks exactly like any other party member you bring in that slot. Also, wow, what is taking up my CPU? This is super huge amounts of lag. Hang on, I'm going to bring up Task Manager and kill whatever is lagging us so badly. Okay. Should be good now. I don't know why we have the FPS up there. Maybe it triggered automatically because it noticed that our FPS is terrible. Oh, Maybe hi. it's something about this scene. Yeah, EPSX just... That is weird. You gonna, you gonna talk to me? Or? He's just doing an animation oh. in super slow, terrible FPSs. No one, really. But yeah, so he thinks we're working for Lynx because of... Uh, I guess we do have... Wait, was Yaon a Dragoon? I forget. Yeah, he is a Dragoon. Okay, that does make some sense. It's never explained why, by the way, he's decided to defect from the Dragoons and try to break into Fort Dragonia. That is actually he's a question basically just like, curious about. Hmm, General Viper is acting awful suspicious. I better go rogue. To get out of this super laggy scene, to have less processor lag. Uh -huh. Yes, the message is my sword in their guts. Amigo. Okay, now we're just gonna. Okay, FPS looks like it's back to normal. Yay! Although it's got those weird numbers right there. Yeah, before. yeah, I don't know where that came from exactly, but whatever. This is... uh, risking our lives? What? Because we haven't this, been doing that yeah. for the entire game. Next thing you're going to tell me is that we're going to like commit genocide or something. Okay, dude, listen. 
We've already attacked Lynx. Like, this is not even going to be our first face-to-face -face confrontation with him. And we won. In well, fairness, you didn't beat the real Lynx. You beat a Shadow Clone, but still. Well, but we have Yang with us this time. It's different. Yo, ho, yo, ho, a non-laggy life for me. Oh, wait, what are we doing? Are we fighting pirates just because we feel like it now? Basically, Captain Fargo is like, well, I have to make sure you're strong enough to fight Lynx, <laughs> so I'm going to try and murder you. Are these pirates? These look like... Nah, they're like, he's got some kind of secret weapon. Apparently he just keeps monsters lying around to fight people to test how strong they are, I guess. Oh, yeah, not very... Yeah, not... We're strong enough, trust me. This is all you got, then. He's got that, like, tiny little mini-shield on his... on his elbow there, it's just like... That's a gap. Do I have any multi-enemy? Yeah. No, 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 dash and slash. You've only got two enemies left, and they're black and eight. Oh, so. I not notice their neatness. Oh, and this one you're targeting in particular is a girl suit of armor. <laughs> Was yeah, a girl suit of armor. This one, however, is male. Okay. Yeah. I'll Can they breed? Can they reproduce? JRPGs, man. Okay, and we have no. Let's do this. Just. I would just use the maximum power element, but okay, sure. I mean, we're not in much danger of losing here, so you know, whatever. Oh well. You know, I could spin at this thing. Definitely <laughs> equip photon beam to surge next chance you get. Oh, that's right. There's a lot of black innates in this. I wish I would do that. Get all capsules are fun. Oh no, it's bad. Yeah, it seems to be something about this scene. Oh my gosh, do we have a dragon? Giant pterodactyl, actually, but pterodactyl's what I want. This is true. Also, they don't have bat wings. I think oh, it's well. that black stuff in the background that covers up the regular sea background. Oh yeah, like now it's working fine. Yes, I'd like to attack the only thing on the screen. Oh no! Do not be that guy again. Look what I hear is blue. Oh my gosh. That's a heavy chunk of damage. Yeah, yeah build up some elemental power and see if you can get some healing. Alright, what what healing do I have? Yeah, you got a cure. Yes, yes on me. Please. I'll do, Donkey. I'll do. And yeah. Oh, actually, one of those things is right in eight, isn't it? Yeah. Let's not do that then. So. Uh, upheaval. Sure. I think we saw this in Hydra Marsh once. This is the first time we ever used this element in this playthrough, but not in the alternate save. Okay. Oh, hey. That wasn't so bad. Eh, 23 damage. No, but like, it's sagging now, I think. I don't think so. Hmm. One way to find out. It's kidding. Actually, no. I sense this thing is red. It's true. By the power of blueness, I summon thee. Oh, wow. That's not a good place to get stabbed. Oh no. Ah, it's cool, he's red and eight, so... That's true. Yeah. I mean, it dealt 20 points less damage than it would have otherwise, but that's still a pretty nasty hit. Surge has already used his healing, so just hit him as hard as you can. Let's see, uh, we don't have a very good 
Thank you, this is just an aerosol. Please. Let's eat ourselves some now? pterodactyl wings. I think he might be saying? I can't tell. That is a very not that different second animation. Let's see what this looks like. Bye bye. Sorry, man. We're about to kill your pet bird. No hard feelings. Definitely give him some healing. Yeah. My thoughts definitely. I believe Glenn he has a heal, he all. Has heal all, but I think he also has a heal on level two. Yeah. Yes, we do. Keep him alive. We can also use a green summon right now. If we had any summons. Okay, now it's sagging, definitely. Yeah, okay. Which is good because we're about out of healing here. I want as flash. Yes. Excellent. Now we've killed his pet bird, let's move out. But of course, all tests come in threes. Oh, nice. I would have used consumables there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mattress pretty roughed up. Oh, so, wow. level four red element, so that's cool. This scene. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Wonderful. Do you remember this at all happening in like previous playthroughs? Huh? Like when you played this game before, right? Yeah. And this never happened. This lag? No. Of course, I played it on the actual PlayStation. Oh. Wonderful. And see, it goes just as soon as that black background stuff goes away, it's just fine. I guess darkness just eats your game. Okay, what in This game is white innate. <laughs> Black backgrounds do extra damage. Okay, so you are blue innate. At least I'm actually hitting him. Hmm. So this guy is a committed enemy of Lynx. You may therefore be unsurprised to learn that he is one of the many, many, many people you can recruit. Although it's gonna be a while. No, 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 no. What? Oh, punch using Magma Bomb. Hey. No. The X Slash. It's a red and A technique. Oh, and it's I double it powered. Green. Why is it red? Well, because that's in between green and white, I guess. Oh well. Fargo is famous, by which, and when I say famous, I mean between me and Stabuzawa, uh, our older brother. But no, he is uh, quote-unquote famous, then, for being invincible. Not as a boss. As a boss. He's totally beatable. But as a player character, he is often the last one standing in a difficult boss fight. Dash and gash, clearly. Wait a second. Yawn has 174 out of 166 health. He has bonus health from the uh, silver earring. Anyways, so we want to use Ice Lance? Cause he's, no, 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 no. Because he's blue, so yeah, dash and dash. Use that. Okay. There 
Use the arrow saucer. Alright, Magma Bomb is a multi it's a, it's a level weaker than the arrow saucer. It's a multi attack thing, so it doesn't do nearly as much damage as a single target. It is red, which is nice. May as well use that one next, probably, but. I'm not sure that movie's ring legal. <laughs> Wrestling's fake. Maybe we should give everybody some healing. Sarge is. Eh, sure. He doesn't really have any good red stuff. That's. Yeah, you got him. Uh, back my bomb. That's decent damage. I'm finish him, Nacho. This is gonna be like his fake, fake death, right? His uh, his death animation. <laughs> no. <laughs> So it has been a little muggy, so... That Aqua Ball there, though, is, uh... You remember seeing, uh, Lynx get attacked by that in the opening cutscene? Yeah. Yeah. So that's that element. Okay, then. 